Do the song with me. <laughs> Some evolutionary biologists in England just finished a study that found the only reason men are still around is so women can turn them down. Really? Yes. Well, ladies, you're doing uh -huh. a terrible job. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, with you, with me, you could do fine. It's different. You could do fine. Well, you, you don't try. You know what? Here's the deal. I mean, you're married, obviously, right, so right. you don't try. But if you did, it's really not that hard. It's a self-confidence thing. I have no self-confidence whatsoever. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You carry yourself like you have confidence. Right, I don't that's, understand what you're talking about. That's a trick. That's that's half the thing. Yeah. That's half the battle. You don't even have to have confidence. You just fake it. <laughs> you just fake it. Fake it. Look like you know what you're doing. Yeah, ladies, you're doing a terrible job turning us down. Terrible. When it comes to the most basic biology, men are pretty unnecessary. Women have the eggs. The women are where babies gestate, right? Right. And that's the most important part of the process. They don't even need our schwanzes anymore. No. They got giant uh, dildos. There's, there's a lot of stuff going there's on. There's a lot of stuff going on. There are stores devoted to the dildos. We got a whole shoebox right at home. <laughs> Who right. knows what's going on when I'm not around? <laughs> <laughs> Men provide the fertilization side of things. Really, women could evolve to handle that part of the process, too. My wife says, and she says this on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my kid. I don't know if I can even see come on, her. Come on. She goes, just women don't stir my loins. But if they did, really, <laughs> I'd be out of here in a second. Look at that. Yeah. That yeah. sounds good. But scientists say men are necessary. Just not in the way you think. They're only around so women can reject the ones with weak genetics and reproduce with the ones who are stronger. Uh, this is too scientific for me. Too scientific. It's a turn, it's a turn off. Basically, it's saying that they don't need us. Right. And they really don't. Need, they need to get wise to that, though. They're not wise to it yet. Well, why Why are we capitalizing? Once, once they get hit to that, uh, we're done. <laughs> it's over. I know. All right. President Obama has had a Twitter account for years, but it was run by the White House. Okay. Yesterday, he finally broke free and got his own personal account at POTUS. Okay? What is that? P-O-T-U-S. President of the United States. States. Oh. <laughs> Pam's yelling at me from down the hall. President of the United States. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you never watch West Wing. Is that what you're telling me? I watch the West Wing. I'm sure. Sure. You used to say POTUS all the time. All right. I don't uh, remember. He's already up to 1.5 million followers. And a lot of them are taking advantage of this revolutionary way to get in contact with the president by asking him for sex. <laughs> What did you think was going to happen? Listen to this. Hundreds of people have tweeted him things like, Spank me, daddy. <laughs> Choke me, daddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I can't say the other one. Really? No, I can't. I think for giggles, i got to send. I got to go on Twitter, and i got to tweet him. Don't, you don't need to be one of those Spank people. me, daddy. You don't need to be. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then <laughs> when he doesn't respond, go, Thanks, Obama. <laughs> There's your missed headlines.